located in the beautiful Southland district of the South Island of New Zealand, you will find Mavora Lakes. Um, located here at Mavora is a very, very large dock camp and that's Department of Conservation for anybody watching from overseas and um, it's just beautiful, what can I say? In the summer, probably spring and autumn as well, this place is heaving with um, tourists and locals. It is a very popular Christmas getaway for people who live in the district and afar. Um, but here in the grips of winter, with a recent snow dumping, we are the only ones here. Oh, actually, there is a car parked right down the far end, but um, I am not sure whether they are hikers, but don't know. But we are pretty much it. So um, you've got lots of different options. Mavora Lakes actually consists of two lakes, North and South Lake, and there is a river that connects the two of them. And um, we are camped at the northern end, so we're by the North Lake, looking up toward in this beautiful valley, and the sun has just kissed the mountain tops and starting to come down. So um, if you come in here, there is no cell phone coverage or internet coverage. Um, We've got really clear TV coverage though, so what more could you want? And don't rely on your solar panels charging. Um, it's coming sort of towards 10 o'clock and the sun is nowhere near us yet, so um, yeah, we'll be probably firing up the generator later on today. So you'll hear many people comment about the road into Mavora Lakes. Um, it is around 40 k's off the main highway that um, runs from um, Mossburn, just outside of Mossburn, that's on the road to Tianau. You'll see the turn off, and it's around 40 k's, but 30 to 35 kilometres of that is on gravel road. Uh, we did contemplate whether we should come in or not because um, we were sitting in snow and it was still snowing, sleety down. Uh, but we made the call, we saw that there were tracks that had gone through already, so onward we ploughed, literally. But really, we have been in here about 23 years ago in a camper van. Uh, we we, we realised that the road was quite good in, even though it is gravel, and yet it is fine. It is wide, um, it's not steep, and so apart from your vehicle getting incredibly dirty, at the moment um, it's a good road to come in on and it is well worth navigating the gravel road to get here um, in the summer when we came last time it was the dust that you had to contend with so this time it was the slushy mud so you know is it worth it absolutely so it is safe to say that the really the only facilities that you have here at Mavora are the good old long drops and there are water taps dotted around the camp, um, huge camp that it is. Uh, all the taps are to have been taken off them at the moment over winter, but during summer there is water here, but it's not advisable to drink it, as is the case with most dot, dot camps that are around. I'm not really an extreme sport slash weather person. But it does seem silly not to do the walking track on our bikes to Boundary Hut. The sign tells me that it's four hours uh, walking. It is a four-wheel drive track um, and you can be rest assured that I will be walking, pushing my bike if it gets too extreme. Um, two sets of socks on, two sets of gloves, two sets of um, head warming paraphernalia and we're all set let's see what this walking track is all about We're 5.6 kilometres into the track and what a view, it's just, it's just beautiful. The track, uh, apart from the deep um, <laughs> mud, holes. mud holes and lots of water in them and having to negotiate streams and trying to find a way across, the track isn't all that bad. I wouldn't call it advanced. 
no. yet. Yet. We still don't know how far we've got to go to the hut or whether we will indeed make it. I think we've been going for about an hour now, so yeah, just we'll just keep an going and just see where it heads to. So we never made it all the way to the hut. We had probably about four kilometres to go. The rain was starting to um, settle in down the far side of the lake, so we thought it was best to save the hut for another day. And so we have worked really hard to get the fire going. And so now it's happy out beside the fire. Water Peak Station. A very popular activity to do when you're staying in Queenstown is to jump on the Urnslaw and come across and dine at the Walter Peak Station restaurant that they have situated here. Um, we've done it a little bit differently today and we've driven in from our base camp at Mavora Lakes and it was about a 45 kilometer drive through Mount Nicholas Station and onto Walter Peak. Glorious scenery. The road condition is quite good, although we did have to go through a couple of uh, fords, rocky fords, not concrete ones. So if you are wanting to come through for a day trip, uh, you would probably need to have a vehicle that had fairly good clearance. Wouldn't have to be 4x4. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it in a large camper van, of course but um, just something with really good clearance and I can fully recommend the drive-in, it is just beautiful. Not a soul here at Walter Peak, uh, a little bit different to the times that Scotty and I have both been here during um, our tour career and uh, it's just, just lovely and a beautiful day too. So we've just completed our fifth night here at Mavora. We came with no set time on how long we wanted to stay here, but there's just something about this place, especially in the middle of winter. When we arrived, you would have seen we had the snow, we've had the beautiful sunshine, we've had the frosts that have gone along with it, and we've also had the rain. So uh, it rained pretty constant. Um, all day and all night and um, there was something special about that as well and although we live full time on the road you would think that it's quite a relaxing lifestyle but because we are quite active relaxers we always find ourselves on the go um, looking to do the next activity and looking to go and see the next place so Mavora Lakes for us I think has been a bit of a reset and um, just time to stop, have a break from everything because you can't get any coverage here whatsoever and um, that's been a good thing and we are surrounded by um, changing scenery all the time, different times of the day we may be looking out at the same spot in the mountains and the lakes but it changes with every light and it's always different so um, we'll probably be looking to stay our sixth night here and maybe look at going tomorrow. Um, we've cycled, we've walked, we've relaxed, we um, have not seen very many people which has also been a, a good thing um, and it's it's been really good. We've cooked open, over an open fire, we've sat and drank red wine beside the fire, we smell like a barbecue um, but because we don't see anybody else it's not so, such a bad thing. Mm -hmm. 